hello guys how are you today we have this case it's a nice six unit single zirconia no that's that's a emax emax case and um, on printed model and the model is very crooked as you can see so like this it looks all <laughs> you know uh, crooked but if you close the edges it looks straight so that's why I drew the lines for my eyes to have something to re uh, have a reference of I'm gonna be using uh, lisi porcelain today and what I wanted to show you see how long these teeth are the crowns I mean like um, that would be strange right especially I have his pre-op model and also I have this um, wax up model and uh, as you can see uh, the difference is tremendous why is it so much difference you might think is because of the tissue is absent over here all the tissue was just butchered off ground off into oblivion so we don't have any tissue this is not his tissue tissue could be anywhere here so we're gonna do some investigation across the nation i'm gonna take my um this thing this is some kind of a digital caliper i bought it on some site for like two dollars it's very good so we're gonna measure what is the length of his centrals but they all pretty much the same length right let's say is um, 9.4 millimeters and we're gonna put it here and then we're gonna know approximately where the tissue is so I'm gonna draw for myself the tissue on all my centrals okay so now I know that after this line they're gonna be under the tissue why is it important because now I can build the tooth normal size you know not all this and then I can make this part very thin okay now let's do the let's do his canines let's say it is Eleven, eleven. So do the same with canines. Eleven, eleven. Canines are much longer on his um, on his wax up. It is all because let's see the other one. Yeah, it's the same. So here to eleven, eleven. Yeah. Okay. So after we did the detective work, it's time uh, for me to start. First, I'm gonna apply inside 44. It's a very opaque porcelain that I'm gonna make the roots out of. So I'm gonna make my roots okay just like that and now i'm gonna apply just regular dentine i want to make this crowns look natural but not too natural because all of his teeth are crowns he doesn't have even one tooth that's his own all of them are crowns and um, frankly speaking i don't have the picture of the crowns 
and uh, I don't know if this is like his temps doesn't look like temps maybe it is his I don't know and if they are crowns what exactly are they made out of maybe they are even full counter zirconia I don't know how they are shaded and all that stuff so I'm gonna be very careful with uh, trying to make my teeth like too translucent or this or that because in a case like this when all the teeth are crowns it's better to make a case more like um, modest <laughs> you know not so they wouldn't um, stick out because the way to make teeth look natural in the mouth is to make them look like the other teeth that, and if it's crowns then just make them look like the other crowns and also if you don't want to do this detective work like I did then just try to have people who work on the model before you get it not to ditch it into oblivion like this so working with tissue is very very important I know that I've been saying that but I still keep <laughs> showing you these butchered models but unfortunately I don't have a say in how the models are prepared for me and um, that's why I have to do what I have to do <laughs> my specialty is very very narrow only porcelain in here okay now the denting is placed that's what it looks like so far and I'm gonna do a cut back just a slight cut back no, in the other um, video I made recently, it was very much different uh, build-up, I think I did. And it was different uh, system of porcelain. Also, if uh, you like to make your effects like bold, like really standing out, then it's a good idea to uh, bake at this point. But I want my effects to be very um, subtle. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply CLF. It's very translucent. I want to apply a lot of it, just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this risky, very risky shade. Look how dark it is. But just a tiny bit. I just don't want my, um, my build up to be like too bland. I'm only gonna put a little bit in the middle. You think why would you put it in the middle is because I'm gonna put a tiny bit of my um, this one inside in between over here so the dark blue is gonna have like some kind of a contrast with that now we're gonna just cover everything with the layer of enamel and forget about it just put it in the oven so important part is to keep my <laughs> midline <laughs> see how crooked it looks I don't know if you can see I hope you can't okay so because um, this part is gonna be under the tissue so that is considered in my book to be the root so um, under this line no enamel enamel only goes from that line and up and you know even if I uh, didn't make any mistake and maybe my tissue line is like 
you know, a tenth of a millimeter higher than the tissue is, it's still going to be okay because the tissue will climb up a little bit when it's healing. So it's going to be all right. All right, so now my teeth, they start looking a little bit more like, um, like the wax up. Because I remember in the beginning, when I was still learning, I was looking at wax up and sometimes I was like, how come it looks so nice in there? And <laughs> when I start doing it, it doesn't. Well, you have to understand, uh, if you got lucky enough to get the model with the tissue all intact, then you gotta use it. It's a very valuable resource for making good crowns. So that's what it looks like. I think looks much more like the wax up. And uh, also very important thing, of course, the edge. The edge you have to build from the lingual side. This part is not optional. That is very important for both the um, upper and the lower and that's what the lower edge looks like I mean in uh, mature teeth this guy is not young so we're not gonna make him like really young looking teeth you know the ones with the three little um, little tiny three cusps they look so cute like kids have the mission but they wear off by the time that people get uh, over 20. Although, you know, some people have this um, kind of bite that the front teeth don't touch, open bite. And they still have the cute little cusps on the front teeth. Okay, so now they are all done. And I'll see you after break. Okay, so this is what came out of break. I think it looks alright. Now it's time to grind it. I'm gonna take my special burn. That's what it looks like. And we're gonna grind the. You know, when you build your work nicely when you grind the most important thing is to keep the shape don't ruin your shape That's what it's looking like right now. And um, don't pay attention to my hands. I try to, you know, cut off my whatever those things are called, cuticles. But it made things much worse. So just don't look at them. And uh, that's the shape. Now I'm gonna go do the same with the rest of them and I'll see you after glaze. Or do you want to see the glaze? Okay, I'll see you at the glaze time. Okay, guys. So this is my work after I grind it. 
and I'm gonna glaze it right now. So let's just glaze this letter. Okay, I hope you can see it well. Shade is A1. So, yeah, I can um, stain in regular Empress A1 shade. And uh, here the crown is really white. Now it looks much more like a one. And I'm gonna take my um, orange and I'm gonna draw around the where my root is. So that's what it looks like right now. The crown is a one and the root is darker but not by much and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of my um, incisal blue that's what it looks like and um, i'll see you after glaze okay guys so this is the look after it came out of glaze we can even see a little tiny like monuments here and there. You can see them. And uh, I polished all the edges. So they're nice and good. I think that the upper part of the teeth now look like the box up. The shade is A1 and the roots are you know they're the roots they're gonna be under the tissue you might think why did I do them <laughs> if nobody's gonna see them but maybe you know this person is getting all the mouth of clowns and it'd be nice for them to see that we tried to make his crowns look like teeth Okay, let me know what you think and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe not to miss more of my videos and I'm gonna see you very soon, bye bye.